So this is the meter Y Shang and it's an analog 10 amp meter supposedly with the shunt. The last time I bought a meter I thought it came with a shunt or I was told on YouTube that some of the meters have the shunt built in so you don't need a shunt if they are like low power models. Apparently the other one that I bought a 20 amp meter you really do need a shunt. So now I have this 20 amp meter without a shunt and I searched the internet and I was able to find a do-it-yourself shunt for this type of meter and in order to do that you have to know uh, the resistance of your meter and also the resistance for your wire that you're going to use. Say if you're going to use a 12 gauge wire you can find out the resistance for the wire you can, you can Google that and the resistance for 12 gauge wire is 1.588 per thousand feet and that came out to 0 0.001588 uh, ohms per foot and if you know the resistance of your meter and here underneath the needle it says 75 millivolt and this is supposed to be this is supposed to be a 20 amp meter so to find out the uh, resistance of the meter uh, you divide 75 millivolt by 20 amp and that would come out to point zero zero three seven five ohms and now to find out how long a piece of wire how long you know you need a piece of wire how long that would be you would divide the uh, resistance of a meter by the uh, ohms per foot of the wire that you're using. In my case is 12 gauge wire. And the gauge of wire for 12 gauge I would need to use 2.36 feet of wire or 28.34 inches. So what I have here is a length of wire. I haven't measured it exactly to 28.34 inches yet but the idea is to uh, connect your two wires to the two ends of this 12 gauge wire. You know two ends would be connected to your meter and then your power would be coming in series with you know from your uh, wind turbine or whatever you're using and you put it in series and then you, this wire would serve as the shunt. You should calibrate your meter because even though this is the correct shunt for it because of the soldered connection the meter might be off Although the person that posted this uh, shunt making idea, uh, he said for this uh, wire length of 2.36 feet, his measurement of 4 amp came out to be exactly 4 amp. So there was no need for any kind of calibration. I would assume that in my case it would be the same. Uh, if you were to calibrate basically you would strip more of your wire off 
and you would have to connect a digital meter some point up here and you would take a reading and compare to your reading on your amp meter and you can calibrate your meter by moving your wire from the meter to a different position uh, on your shunt and that would give your meter the correct calibration. I think for the most part this uh, length of wire would be sufficient. Uh, I don't think I really have to calibrate it.